are closed. Body is steady. Mind is facing within. Why the mind is facing within? Because we say goodbye to a waking state, still aware. Goodbye to the dream state, still aware. And goodbye to the sleep state, still aware. Why? I'm putting the knowledge on which we will work. <clears throat> to know clearly I am not the world, to understand how I am not the world, to realize I am not the world. What is left? I am. So we negate completely what I am not. World, people, place, time, objects, likes, dislikes, attachment, detachment, desires, delusion. And then we accept, assert, aware, attend to real self. Body is. So we will use all the possible tools. So goal is. I know that I am not the world. Do I? Am I aware of it? Let's see. Look at. So let us follow the passive step completely. Passive step means the knowledge part. The intellect reflects it. It knows. It is aware. What it means? I can give you one million example that you are sitting in a home, room, but you are not the room. You are wearing a blue colored t-shirt, but you are not that t-shirt. So where the problem comes? The problem comes to say, to know that I am not the body. For physical matters, you know, our gases, you know, we say, we know, well, I'm not the car, I'm not the room, I'm not the house. So why problem comes? Because of, <clears throat> for millions of years, we have created this wrong notion, delusion. And that is why you see, in the first step, I always say, but I explain it differently. Being comfortable. So first, look at the way we have been doing. We look at the neck drawing. We are there. There means we are aware. Why we are aware? We want to know. But before, no, knowing is experience also, see that. So you look at the neck joint and you experience sensation, comfort and steadiness. This is also the knowledge. Now, does this sensation, comfort and steadiness belongs to the neck joint? Or it is my mental awareness? It is my mental. So when we identify with the body, then mind claims, no, it is all about the body. So now go beyond that sensation, comfort and steadiness. So our intellect says it is all darkness, no problem. Darkness is okay. Why not continue to be aware of that darkness or the space? There, say, mind says not possible. Which mind? Mind in delusion. Mind wants to get rid of the world and still it is stick to the world. That knowledge should be there. So what will happen? 
it will take you naturally to being carefree. How? How you say that? Because any thought that enters will prompt you to act with the body. But when you know it, any thought and every thought in the mind has to do with the world outside. I am not supporting the mind. Well, how do you not support the mind? Very easy. After all, you are driving your car on the highway and other cars also there. You don't fight with those cars. You follow your own course. What is that? Mind is facing within. Even if any thought is there, even no thought is there, no thought is there, you experience the space. Thought is there. Okay, still the space is there with the thought. And I have been saying once it will stuck to your intellect, there will be a great progress. What is that? Passive step. Knowledge is required in the intellect. Nothing else. Again, what is the knowledge? That what I am not, leave it. And don't crave for what I am. Example, you drive from office to home. You are aware this is not my home, the street is not my home. You are aware. Not, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And then you land up to your house. So, Look at the body. Know it. Experience sensation, comfort and steadiness. And also know it. I am not the body. You know the highway. I am not. My home is not. You see many houses while driving. I am not. A little deeper, a little deeper is, takes you very deeper into the meditative state. We are totally passive. We are not doing anything. Make this to clear to the mind. We are not doing anything. Because action will engage me with the body, with the world outside, and all the five elements, and I'm done. Knowledge. Knowledge is awareness. Awareness is experience. <clears throat> but when we say knowledge, we f remove the ignorance. outer level we know I'm not the body but do I really know inside with awareness and experience so experience and the knowledge is realization realization 
where experience takes place in the mind. So mind reflects. <coughs> Intellect knows. So when we say passive step, when I say passive step, it is all about ignorance to be removed. Knowledge is what? Knowledge realized is a perfect relationship between the cause and the effect. I know you are an engineer, so let me explain in that way. I know the relationship. Cause and effect. Effect cannot <coughs> be if cause is not. And that effect, I am the body. What is the I am the body is the effect of ignorance, delusion in the mind. So anything happening in the mind, good, bad, high, low, thoughts, past, present, future, Okay, anything comes to the mind, I am not. <clears throat> or oh, that is one way, I am not. Or just start looking deep inside your head or the heart. Mind should be continued to face with, and I am not. What is outside, I am not. That includes the thoughts. Thoughts with the feeling, that includes the body, body with the sensation, etc., etc., etc. <clears throat> to know what I am not is being comfortable and being careful. I already told you many a times, even the first step will take us there. Only this step. Why? I am comfortable because of the real self, and I am carefree because of the real self. I can never be carefree because of the body or the mind or the emotions. See that? That is the ultimate knowledge. Simple way. I have to live my life consciously all the time. What is supposed to be done What is my duty must be done <coughs> What I like not to be done what I dislike not to be rejected Why I said so uh, we are moving to the second step of breathing. You see knowledge, look inside the head in the space. Good. But the mind, because of its past impression, whether it likes or it dislikes, I have not to do that. But I am doing it in a practice. So it is supposed to be done because the teacher is guiding. So if the mind changes that attitude, like and dislike are gone and you are doing it for the sake of doing, 
the mind will remain in sight. <clears throat> and that active step of breathing will be similar as the first step. Look inside the forehead in the space and start breathing quick, short and gentle breath. You are playing with the breath. Continue. And stop this, do nothing, but first we will follow with the knowledge, pragmatic approach, practical. You know, we say in the modern world, everything is practical in Eastern wisdom, anyhow. So pragmatic means what I know, what I experience, I am not. So you have that knowledge in your mind, experience. 
calmness, freshness, relaxation, stillness in the body. But at the same time, you are aware I am not. I am not. I experience freshness. Mind appears very deep. I know it. I am not. Just that awareness is required. So when we miss this awareness or the knowledge, we say, ah, we give all the credit to the breathing, the practice, and long list. If I do it with a particular room, or with a fragrance or something, etc., etc. No, 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 none of these. Awareness. What is awareness? What I know. I know I feel good. Very good. No problem. Now see what happens. Whatever I know, I may know that, you know, I, I feel body is paining. I know it, but I'm not. So even when you move the body while knowing what I am not, no problem. And problem when I identify with the body. Then the mind is already outside. So again, in order to clean the mind, we will go for, normally one day we'll be doing for nine minutes is the minimum period. According to the Tantra, nine minute, primary level, 18 minutes of breathing, secondary level, 27 minutes of breathing, highest level of a seeker, but with the, this knowledge. Otherwise, mind after doing 5, 7, 10 minutes, it will say, this is enough, I don't want to do it. So what the factor has come? What I like, I should do it. What I don't like, I should resent it. That is why the Tantra discipline, even in preparation, it takes a couple of years. Anyhow, we'll go deeper to the next step. Again, we will take the passive step. Again, pragmatic, practical. What I know, what I experience, what I know, I am not. Even if it is very good. So very good means it is supporting, it helps me. Huh? What is good that I experience is helper. We are not denying. We are simply saying what I am not. We are not denying good experiences. What we are accepting so now let us let me take a, the step that you have done many a times look at the head and the neck simple look at the head and the neck be aware and feel when you feel i say sensation relaxation and stillness Sensation, relaxation, and stillness is different from the head and the neck. And the experience of head and the neck as compared to the rest of the body is different.
other thoughts are there, but still we experience sensation, relaxation, and stillness. <coughs> And going deeper, I experience space. We may say calmness or we may say sense of quietness. All I know, all I experience. Does it trigger into your intellect? I am not. We may have variety of sensation, no worries. Right arm, an object, I know. You know every time when you look at your honey, you are not your honey. You look at the daughter, you are not your daughter. You look at me, I'm not you. Now what I'm saying? Look at the right arm. You know the right arm. What you know is not. That continues. And then we have a sensation, relaxation, and stillness. It is okay. So I have one experience. Right arm. Second experience, sensation, relaxation, stillness. Third experience, calmness and quietness. I know all of them. I'm not. So no doubt, a state of sensation, relaxation, stillness is a helper. So by saying I'm not, I'm not rejecting the helper. We are going a little deeper. Only focus is what I am not. So that I am not, that knowledge continues. No, no, that will continue. No, mind breaks it. Move the mind on the left arm, be there, feel. Again, that knowledge triggers the mind. No, okay. Sensation, relaxation, stillness, okay. But I'm not. Space, okay, I'm not. Calmness and quietness, okay, I'm not. Thoughts are coming. I'm not. Middle portion of the body, from the shoulder to the waist. You see, object, middle portion, the mind continuously Intellect continuously gives the knowledge to the mind. Okay, you look at it, but no, I am not. Sensation, relaxation in stillness, I am not. Calmness in quietness, I am not. So when the intellect guides the mind, what I am not, the mind enters into a zone of no mind. Hmm. 
See, this is what master says. Mind enters into the zone of no mind. Right leg, I know it. Sensation, relaxation, stillness, I know it. I am not. So that I am not, not as a thought level, but knowing level. What is knowing level? Without thinking, I know that I am not the remote. I am not the camera. I am not the monitor. Calmness and quietness, I am not. It is there. It is a helper. Uh, when I say I am not, it doesn't mean that I. It I should say it does not exist so the mind because of its impulsive nature habitual because of you told me you taught me vasanas and sanskaras see that so when we raise our level of awareness to pick up these sanskaras and the vasanas, I am not left leg. I am not left leg Whatever I know is can be divided into part, I am not. So that brings us to the entire body. Look at the entire body. Be there and feel. Experience sensation, relaxation and stillness. I am not. Because I know it. I experience calmness and quietness. I am not. There is another way. Become aware of the space around the body. Space is there, it's a fact, but the space is not the body. That knowledge will help us. Now the space in the body.
the entire body. I am not. I experience sensation, relaxation, stillness, calmness, quietness. So moving the mind on the body, continue. Do it normally in a very gentle way, taking your time, moving from the top of the head to the toes. And your mind will say, I know a lot of things. No issue. Everything we know, intellect is there. What? I am not. That I am not leads to absorption of the mind. Nothing else. We think as if this step or that step absorbs them. How, how come? Yes, it is worth to be noting when we constantly, continuously move the mind on the body. Mind undergoes different, body undergoes different experiences, maybe tingling, numbness, body freezes down completely, or we have a sense of bodylessness, as if the mind starts moving into a space. But we know all of them. And what we know, we are not. Sometimes we lose that awareness. Not sometimes, but many a times. Why? There is an element of vasanas and sanskaras.
again this is a passive state so again we will go for a semi active state and to check if the mind forgets if the mind forgets means ignorance means sleeping and we will use a very simple tool first look and know the breath know the breath knowing the breath means knowing the breath means mind says it is moving in and out no problem Mind says, knowing the breath is moving in and out, feeling the sensation, no issue. I know both of them and I'm not. And sometimes when we see the breath, we it changes the rate and the rhythm of the breath. So it may be because of vasana and samskaras that we do not know. What to do in that case? Do nothing. Just awareness. What is that just awareness? Okay, you know. The breath rate changes due to Changes due to vasana and sanskara, so no issue. You simply know it because you now you know it. So what you know is you are not. What I know, I am not. What I know, I am not. I'm looking at the breath. Looking means I know it. Knowing is not an action. Knowing is not an action. And sometimes what happens the moment you look at the breath, mind changes the breath, mind changes the rate and the rhythm. Because of habit, it changes after some time due to the vasana and sanskaras. All about the causal, bo uh, subtle body. In the subtle body, we have a reflection of the causal bodies, ignorance, and skaras, vasanas. At the same time, we experience at the same time, we have awareness, knowledge, and experience of peace, calmness, quietness. They are good. But still they are, I know them, I am not. <clears throat> Intellect known is, knows it, mind follows it. So that even if the mind has many thoughts, mind has many thoughts, no worries, I, you know.
What do you know? You know, mind is wandering. You are not. I am not. Mind is naturally focused on the breath. You know, I know, I am not. Because what I know is the world mind has created. What I know is the world created by my mind. Oh, is that so? Yes. Now only awareness, knowledge and experience. We are not looking even, no, no, we are looking at the breath. Now we follow the mind with what I am not. We are not fighting with the mind. Mind is wandering. I know I am not. Mind goes to body. It says I experience, I experience sensation, relaxation, stillness, no issue. I am, I am not. I know I am not. Lot of thoughts are coming. I know I am not. You see, mind gets uh, forgets or gets absorbed because mind with the millions of years has done so. Forgets in, in past, present and future. And the moment you become aware, again the same knowledge I know I am not.
if I am not, who is going to have any experience? Who knows this is stress, this is mind is wandering, this is sensation, this is relaxation, etc. Et You have an understanding. Oh, maybe you can uh, leave the breathing part, but other steps can easily be, you can be in any of these steps at any point of time. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti Shanti Om Shanti 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 Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside, know your experiences.